Friends, do this right now to be ready to do food delivery next year. What am I talking about? Multi-apping. Multi-apping means you need to be on many apps. So right after this video, start signing up for them. The main reason, there's a waiting list on many of them. So start now, that way you're gonna be ready to go when the new year starts. So what is multi-apping? It's pretty basic. It's having all the apps on. Then as an order comes in, if you like it based on dollars per mile or dollars per hour or both, you select it. What you do is you go back through all the other apps and you turn them off. That way you're not receiving orders that you can't do. And then that'll confuse you and get in the way of doing that one job that you selected. This is how you do it properly by turning off all the apps that keeps you from being tempted to do it improperly, which I'll cover here in a second. Some challenges doing multi-apping is how do I use all these different apps? This is why I'm telling you to sign up right now and be ready. To get used to them, you do one app at a time and whatever time period is good for you until you get comfortable. You want to be really good at one app and then you start another one. For example, DoorDash is a little bit different from Uber Eats. They're basically the same, but the screens are different and under pressure, you need to know how to use each one perfectly when you multi-app. Work on one exclusively. Don't take any other orders on other apps. Just focus on that one app until you get good at it. Then you're able to go ahead and add another app. Then I would say don't use the first app for a while. Just focus on the second one until you get really good at that. Then turn on both of those apps at the same time and get used to doing two apps at the same time. And it'll be easy at first because there's only one other app to turn off and one to select. You can see how this gets more complex. As you get on with three or four or more apps, then you develop your expertise to be able to be comfortable selecting the right order and then immediately going back and turning off the ones that you obviously don't need right now. The reason that multi-apping is your secret to success is you can't control the market. There could be a variety of orders on other apps that you're not aware of. In your market, one app could be slow, say DoorDash is slow, but Uber Eats is really busy. By having both on, you're gonna be able to make money from one of those. If you were only on one app, then you're at the mercy of the market where you're at. Also, another thing to consider is the types of orders. Food delivery is different from grocery shopping. So at certain day parts, one may be busy and the other isn't. Or have them all on and that way you're covered for grocery shopping or food delivery. And you can see how this expands your options to make money. Because if we were in a perfect world, there'd be so many orders coming in on one app, we'd never have to change. But that's just not the case. And especially now, Nearing the end of this year, orders have been slow. Holiday season's coming up, so really all of them should start being busy again. But this is out of your control. What is in your control is being on the different apps. That way you have options to make money. There's no guarantees in anything in life. You have to work hard, think ahead, strategize to be able to make the most money. Multi-apping really is the secret to this. So just to start off with, how do you do multi-apping improperly? And if you do this, you're gonna get deactivated eventually. What you do is we are exceedingly selfish and I just want as much money for me as possible. I don't care about the restaurants, the gig app companies, especially the customers. Who cares? I want my money. So what you do, and this is wrong, is have all the apps on. And if an order comes in on one and it looks good, you take it. On your way to fulfilling that order, let's say you get another one on, say, DoorDash and you're on Uber Eats. And you can see that that order ideally is near the same pickup and drop-off location. I accept that one too. Can you see how this can make you a ton of money? Yes, but someone's going to suffer and eventually you're going to get caught doing this because customers can see you in the app, the gig app companies can see you, and they're gonna know, hey, you're supposed to go to A to B, not go over here to C and then back to B. They're gonna realize, because think about it, there's GPS on your phone, they know your phone number, they've got all the tracking information they need. The company will catch you doing this. 
And from the customer's perspective, how rude. You have to keep in mind the customer can see you on many of these apps as you go from the restaurant to their house. They're gonna wonder, what are you doing going way over here instead of to their place? So they're gonna report you, you'll get complaints, and eventually you'll get deactivated. And the customer's not gonna get their food hot and fresh or nice and cold as they desire because you're wasting time taking another order somewhere else and then their food isn't as pristine. And keep in mind, the customers are paying a lot for these orders. So eventually, you will suffer for it. About the only time that you could improperly multi-app, and, and I've done it, is when I know I'm really close from the restaurant to the house and then another order just happened to come in from the same restaurant or next door to a similar area. If you know you're fast and it's really a short distance, then you can get away with it. But don't start learning things like that right up front when you're trying to do food delivery because it is going to bite you. <laughs> that does remind me, when I started six years ago doing this, I would take an order on Postmates and then I say I was on another app, but maybe it was DoorDash. And I looked at the time and I could see, oh, this one order doesn't have to be to the customer until whatever, say 1130. Right now it's 11 o'clock. So I'm gonna take this pizza order on Postmates to another city and I'll still have time to come back and get this one. I didn't realize the customer could see me the whole time as I'm obviously not taking their order. I'm going somewhere far away and coming back. Let me tell you, they were upset. They took away my tip and I'm lucky that they didn't report me to the gig app. So let me assure you, that was years ago. The gig apps have only gotten better with technology. The customers are on to and drivers abuse them. So don't take a chance on it. It's not worth it. And eventually you are gonna get caught and get deactivated. And why does this matter? Why do you wanna give up the chance to make a ton of money on one app or two and then blow it because you get deactivated off of one over what? a 10 20 dollar order it's not worth it so please take my advice to heart yes i did it a long time ago by accident in a way and then i skillfully did it say less than six months ago with that really close delivery with the sandwich order and i knew the first order wasn't ready so i could go knock that out be right back it was less than a quarter mile but keep that for pro level service don't even try it when you're new so i can imagine what you're thinking russ who cares? What if I don't take your advice? Well, let me tell you what's likely to happen. And I already mentioned getting deactivated. Here's the thing. If you don't take my advice, what you're probably going to do is just get on one app. Let's say it's DoorDash and you're going to work really hard and that's good. You're going to do a lot of orders. They're going to keep feeding you orders and that's great. You're going to get really locked into the app and they're probably going to prize your hardworking service for a while. But invariably, something, something's gonna happen. Most likely it's like a glitch in the app. Something went wrong in computer land or the customer maybe wants something for free. Eventually, you're gonna get flagged by that app for doing something wrong, even if you really didn't do anything wrong. Next, what's gonna happen, you're either gonna get suspended or outright deactivated. And this is a very long and torturous process. I don't wish it on any of you at all. It's happened to me twice and I never did get back on DoorDash, even though I was cleared and did nothing wrong. But they don't care. So keep this in mind, all the gig apps do not care about you as a driver. You may work for them for years and have thousands of deliveries. They don't care about your hard work. They will get rid of you in a split second if anything goes wrong, if there's a customer complaint or who knows what else, something could just go wrong. Maybe they don't wanna pay your health benefits. You're the one that loses out. So there are many things that can go wrong and I don't wanna get into the weeds too much on this, but as a new driver especially, watch out. So follow this advice, you'll be set up for success doing multi-apping. If you do happen to get deactivated, over the years there have been different services that can help you. Right now, 
on YouTube, look up the Rideshare Professor. I'll link his contact info in the video description. He has a service where pretty much he fights for drivers through paralegals. They can even take the gig app company to court and sue them for your lost wages and time and get you reactivated. So this is the only reputable one that I found over time that is still currently existing. So sadly, if this ever happens to you, reach out to Torsten, the rideshare professor. Multi-apping is key. Don't get lulled into doing what you think is right. And you know what? I haven't even taught you how to do food delivery yet. And it is a little bit harder than just doing what you think. You go get the food, drop it off, done. No, there are some important things that I watch out for your future success to be able to stay on that platform, to get that food hot and fresh to the customer, documenting your deliveries, having a great customer service attitude with both the restaurants and the customers. So I have that video for you next and I'll see you there in the comments.